يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أعداء فألف بين قلوبكم فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم بنعمته إخوانا وكنتم على شفا حفرة من النار فأنقذكم منها كذلك يبين الله لكم آياته لعلكم تهتدون ولتكن منكم أمة يدعون إلى الخير ويأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر وأولئك هم المفلحون Dar es Salaam is one of the names of paradise. Literally it means the abode of peace or the community of peace. And so the name comes directly from the Qur'an. Wherein uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, uh, Wallahu yad'u ila dar es Salaam wa yahdi man yasha ila sirat al-mustaqeem Which means that Allah invites you to the abode of peace. Welcome to Darus Salaam, an Islamic community development project located in College Park, Maryland, with easy access to Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia. The vision of Darus Salaam is to humbly share the message of Islam through building a community, to share the message of Islam with everyone, Muslims and non-Muslims, that follows uh, the way of Islam according to the guidelines of the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet For over a decade, Darus Salaam has created a safe haven environment that allows individuals to grow and develop together within a united community, supported by Islamic education, various businesses, a bi-weekly newspaper, a medical center, media publications, and much more. Darus Salaam is a reality for students, parents, teachers, neighbors, and Muslims afar. Darus Salaam and Al Huda School uh, are good example of what an Islamic center can be in this area. We hope that they will excel to provide uh, spiritual guidance for Muslims, sound uh, knowledge uh, to people who uh, take uh, and use the services of the mosque and the Islamic center. Under the Darus Salaam umbrella, there are over 75 employees and volunteers who work tirelessly to serve the community. On a daily basis, over 500 people benefit from the facilities and services of Darus Salaam. Why should we have centers, especially like Darus Salaam? It is the environment. Okay, it's the environment. They're doing an, an excellent job bringing that environment to, to the surface, okay? And you could feel it as soon as you walk in. Under the umbrella of Darus Salaam, its first project was to establish a full-time Islamic school. And in 1995, the Al-Huda School an Al-Huda preschool daycare program was established with an initial enrollment of over 26 students. Currently, in its 11th year, there are over 340 students who are enrolled in the kindergarten through eighth grade program, and with over 70 children in the preschool daycare program. 
Al Huda School, alhamdulillah, uh, is such a tremendous asset for the Muslim community in the D.C. metropolitan area. Well, the reality is that most of our children aren't going overseas. If you want to give them a sound and solid Islamic education, we have to do it here. Uh, we actually moved here from New Jersey for Al Huda because we evaluated a couple of Islamic schools. And because I had the flexibility of moving, uh, we actually made the move so my son could go to school at Al Huda. As a parent, probably what I can see right away is a sense of being a strong Muslim in my kids. The second thing that I see is that I get to learn from them uh, simply because I didn't have the opportunity that they have in quality of Islamic education. The reason uh, we chose the Montgomery County curriculum because it's very famous nationwide and it's strong um, curriculum. And alhamdulillah, we see the result in our school. And, and it's amazing that because of the drive and some of the, some of the children who have, who have imbibed these values and these ideas, they are motivated to study to such a degree that some of our children who have graduated from the eighth grade, within a year or two, they finished high school. I graduated from Al Huda in 2002, where after that I decided to homeschool. And I graduated from homeschooling um, when I was 15. At the same time, I went to community college. And from there, um, I transferred over to University of Maryland. And now, I'm, inshallah, I'll be graduating and I'll be 18. And they're graduating when most people are going into the university. I mean, we have some of our kids who are graduating at the age of 19 from college, not from high school. And that, we feel that that's a tremendous blessing of an Islamic school. What Al Huda offers is that uh, it's not a, a mere school, it's a school that teaches the students how to be a good Muslim, righteous Muslim. Uh, to be good in education and at the same time practice. The Prophet ﷺ said, the learned among you, they are the inheritors of the prophets. And alhamdulillah, if we want our children to inherit from the wellspring of our prophet, then they need to have the opportunity to immerse themselves in an environment which is rich for the acquisition of knowledge. And that you can find at El Huda School. والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم. حفظ means to to preserve something. When we talk about the حفظ of the Quran, uh, we mean by it the memorization of the Quran, or in other words, preserving the Quran in the hearts of the people. Young leaders. Some of them hafiz of Qur'an coming out of the memorization program. That they are now leading salah, leading uh, tarawiyah prayer uh, in the metropolitan area as a way of giving back what they have learned in their experience at Al Huda School. I mean, the impact that we've had on the Muslim community, uh, I think, has been tremendous in the wider Muslim community in the area. We've had uh, Muslims, for example, who have memorized the Qur'an and are leading uh, prayers at other masjids. One of our sisters uh, who, met, who finished the entire Qur'an, one of our hafidat, uh, she's now starting to teach in the Qur'an Institute. In five years of starting the Hafiz school, there have been 11 boys and four girls who have graduated from the program. Most graduate in two years or less. Currently, there are over 25 students enrolled in the program, two boys sections and one girl section. Alhamdulillah, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we were able to start this past August, uh, August of 2006. Uh, we started a post-health Sharia program. So inshallah, it's a, it's a comprehensive one-year program, uh, specially developed for the Hafal and for students who are who have memorized more than half of the Quran to further their Islamic knowledge. Inshallah. <laughs> Allah! 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 
Al Huda School has been accredited by the Middle States Association. This body is a major organization in America that accredits univers colleges and universities and schools. It's a worldwide organization. It's more than a hundred years old. Uh, this is the same organization that has accredited some major institutions in America, like Cornell, for example, or Columbia, or the University of Maryland locally, uh, or John Hopkins, or Georgetown, or George Washington, or Loyola, or Howard, uh, Montgomery College, and, and many others. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Al-Huda School is the first Islamic school that has been accredited by this organization in more than a hundred years. So it's truly a great honor that Allah has blessed us with. Uh, accreditation means that it, actually it is a, a, accreditation is a process that recognizes an educational institution for maintaining certain standards that qualifies graduates for admission into higher institutions of learning. And of course uh, we we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this accreditation because the benefits of it are tremendous. It gives credibility to our students as they apply for higher institutions of learning, for admission into higher institutions of learning. It gives credibility to our staff for working in an environment such as this. And at the same time, it uh, uh, gives an opportunity for our brothers and sisters who want to pursue education as a field for them to come and do their student teaching here and gain a, a great gain credits for it uh, at their at the collegiate level and at the same time it opens our school now to grants that we may receive uh, uh, that would help uh, the school after saying all of this I would still like to remind all of us that the heart of education is the education of the heart and at Aluda School, we want to strive to produce hearts that are dedicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So while we've been accredited in a worldly sense, we still want to be accredited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As you know, brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, إِنَّمَا يَتَقَبَّلُ اللَّهُ مِنَ الْمُتَّقِينَ Surely Allah only accepts from the muttaqeen. And as Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us, he said, at taqwa ha huna, at taqwa ha huna, at taqwa ha huna. That the taqwa is in the heart, the taqwa is here, the taqwa is here, meaning in the heart. And we want to make sure that we keep focused and we continue purifying our hearts to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muslim Link is a tremendous asset to the community. The Muslim Link, a voice that speaks for the community, was started by Ahuda School upper grade girls back in 1998. Today, it's the most recognized media outlet by and for the Muslim community in the DC Baltimore metropolitan area. The paper has helped foster a spirit of unity and cooperation among the Muslim community. There have been many moments, alhamdulillah, where that Allah shows us that uh, so we can feel good about the work we're doing. But one of the ones that sticks in my mind is when the um, sister of Ahmed Abu Ali, who we've been covering for a while, uh, who was imprisoned, um, she called and then she said something that really affected me. She says. I don't care what the Washington Post prints, I don't care what the CNN prints, but I care what you guys print because you are our paper. The Muslim Link is operated with four full-time employees who are responsible for writing, photography, editing, and distribution. Individual volunteers send their stories to the Muslim Link as business ads are being designed. It all converges on the deadline day where the staff spends up to 20 straight hours to line up the paper before going to press. Distribution begins after Fajr prayer on Thursday, continuing through Monday night, delivering over 8,000 papers every two weeks to over 200 locations in Maryland, D.C., and Northern Virginia. 
I think more people are aware of what, what's going on with their fellow community members uh, across state lines and across mustard lines. There's more collaboration between the masajid because the good work that other masjids are doing and other organizations are doing is known now to uh, the greater community and people are able to collaborate and to help each other and advise each other. One of Darus Salam's fastest growing businesses in 2006 is the Darus Salam Family Medical Practice. It was initially geared to serve the Muslim community only, but with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now Darus Salam Family Medical Practice serves the community at large. It is like any other American medical practice, only it is established on an Islamic constitution. Initially when we started, we had one or two, one small room in Al Huda just to see the feel of it. We had five patients, two patients, but we went up to seven patients a day and it was a um, crowded kind of a thing. But subhanAllah, it went on within a month or two as soon as we got the provider ID number. The same patients went back and told in their job places, go to this clinic. They give you a shoulder to cry on. Uh, you know, they said, there's, a, there's a different group of doctors there. There are a different group of staff there. And subhanAllah, we have up to 23 patients a day now. Alhamdulillah, Dar es Salaam Family Medical Practice is thriving and attempting to fulfill everyone's needs, and it's growing at a fast pace. Hopefully start working on uh, community projects uh, focusing on the elderly, so somehow creating projects for them that they can get involved directly. To keep on going with school, I want to become a doctor, inshallah. Maybe even, you know, this is like a dream, but maybe even make the first um, hospital or something, Muslim hospital. Inshallah, be one of the founders for that. So inshallah, Ta'ala, we are trying to do a medical insurances. Second is the elderly homes. I think this is just the seed. We want to do is to dif uh, start different departments, cardiology or pulmonology and uh, OBGYN. And eventually I want to start, inshallah, Ta'ala, a big hospital in America run in an Islamic constitution where everybody, Muslims and non-Muslim, will be given a chance to see what privacy, dignity, and caring with honesty and as a duty to the humanity is given in a real way. The, the vision of the Dawa Center is uh, in line with the overall mission and vision of Dar es Salaam, which is to establish a, a model Islamic community. And inshallah, we're hoping that through this example, we will be able to call people to Islam, uh, not merely just through words alone. And we're basically focused on uh, delivering and inviting non-Muslims through Islam and also focusing with, uh, on the new Muslims. Through the Dawah Center, over 80 people have accepted Islam. They have distributed over 15,000 choice newsletters and over 500 Qur'ans and more than 40 new Muslims attend weekly classes. The Dawah Center also provides the necessary Islamic information and booklets for the community at large in Spanish and English and they have created a database to follow up on new Muslims and a website that provides additional information and support. With this in mind, the da'wah is very crucial, especially now that we're living amongst uh, non-Muslims, and it is an obligation for the community to, to go out and share the message and invite them to Islam. Another one of Darus Salaam's success stories are the two markets, Suk Al Huda and Al Huda International Tastes. Both businesses are very successful and have brought substantial revenue in for Darus Salaam. 
the Suk Al Huda store mainly sells school supplies, multimedia, and gifts, while Al Huda International Tastes sells groceries and halal meats. Each business generates over $300,000 in annual sales, and each serves over 100 customers per day. A lot of fond moments. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't one of the questions on the sheet. I don't know. SubhanAllah. Many, many uh, stories uh, come to mind. Was that a difficult one? The fondest um, aspect of uh, being a Dar Salam in my mind has been the opportunity to serve Allah. I think one of the uh, one of the things that sticks out, perhaps, uh, uh, is the fact that Alhamdulillah we see that in a short period of four years, we have our hafal in several different masajid leading tarawih. So for us to be able to see these, you know, ten, eleven, twelve year old students uh, leading people in salah, that is definitely a uh, you know a very heartwarming thing to see that Alhamdulillah. Just, there, there's subtle moments that we have in the class where you, you feel like the, the students, they ask about things that are related to their lives and they get answers and they feel satisfied with those answers. Uh, these are moments that I think are really uh, important to me. I can't actually pick one because, you know, there's, the, every day of my life here was, was awesome. It's an honor that Allah, uh, Allah is using us to to serve uh, the people and to 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 uh, propagate his message that is an honor uh, the greatest honor and the fondest uh, th thing that i can think of it's it's so hard to describe al in, in just one word you know it's it means so much to me it's it's like my home i guess that that would be the one word it's my home in one word um dar salam it's a community building project. Uh, I'd like to think about perhaps the Medina of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That environment uh, where uh, there is a store, there is a school, there is a playground, there are Muslims moving into the community. Unity, bringing the Muslims together. It's, it's the soil from which we're growing, alhamdulillah. I don't know, I guess it would be Ummah. Let's say this as, in a word, I would say home, uh, I would say peace, I would say heart, or let's say all of the above. <laughs> Muslims here, the teachers and the, the parents whom I see when I come for prayer are of a higher caliber. I just feel that they are stronger in their Islam, that they are more tight as a community, and that itself is very welcoming to people of, from all walks of life. As long as you're Muslim, there's a place for you in this community, as a parent and a teacher, and that's a very strong point for Al-Huda. Uh, talking about the, the mission of Al-Huda School, the uh, Dar es Salaam, to build a community, uh, you would be part of a family, a true family, where people care about you, people will make sure that they are supporting you. This reminds me the first time I moved here and I needed help to move my stuff with the truck, all the stuff, as you know. And uh, the first thing they would do if you come from out of town is make sure that the brothers and sisters here move you in to your new apartment or new home. We unloaded the truck and till now I don't forget this, uh, this moment. Rather than have you go rent a car, rent a truck, and have uh, outside uh, uh, professional movers. But Alhamdulillah, I got the help right away, and this is right away gave me the impression that this is the right place to build a community to be together. This is the true sense of giving and support that the community provides. So here we are, brothers and sisters. You have just visualized the beginning of our journey, and in order to sustain this journey, the first step is education. We must emphasize education because as you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
revealed this as the first word iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalaq read in the name of your lord who created so we must emphasize education but in order to support this education which we want to strive for through higher institutions of learning like a high school or a university uh, through character development and through the academics in order to support this infrastructure we need to support it with two types of resources human as well as material we want to develop our community through character education through the guidelines of the Quran and the Sunnah but at the same time we want to develop our material resources through developing businesses and banks and hospitals and and other institutions which would support this educational infrastructure financially so now we invite you to Darus Salam as Allah invites you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran says Wallahu yad'u ila Darus Salam surely Allah invites you to Darus Salam Darus Salam our home your home <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 